Guten Tag. Ich bin der Partymensch und das ist mein big sexy Podcast. Mm. Today I'm going to talk about all things sex and all things partying. And I should know because I am Germany's number one nightclub owner, sex god. First we will talk about the three ways to get out of using a condom. Because, come on, who needs them? Barriers are bad for your relationship. You don't want to use that with your man or your woman or your man. Also, we're going to talk about how to test your ecstasy because, <laughs> oh, we don't want you to die and be partying in the afterlife, do we? No, we want you here on this planet so we can fuck. God damn it, party mensch. Fuss. I told you I can't party. Warum nicht, RJ? We have so much fun. I know, but... We have important work to do, Kevin and I. Kevin? Kevin. Oh, he's here. He's here. Oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I cannot party with that guy again. It's probably a good idea. Fine, but I will be back for you and your sexy muscles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Kevin. Hey, man, what's up? Yeah, did, did, did you see Party Mensch? No, but that explains why there's a bunch of fucking glitter all over my chair. Yeah, he was in the fucking studio again. Ugh, God, how? I didn't give him a key, did you? No. Okay, I gave him a key. <laughs> Broadcasting from an undisclosed bunker deep in the shitty part of town. This is the RK Ultra Podcast. Did Party Match slip something into your beverage? I... Every time. Your eyes look like discs. Yeah. My eyes are the discs. Oh, God. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to deal with this tonight. Yeah, well, what's on the agenda? Agenda? I, well, it's our first late night podcast. What? Yeah, yeah. It's a loose continuation of that. Cryptid? Yeah, that one. That one. That's going to be good. Uh, wait. Oh, would you fuck that cryptid? Yeah, we're going to do that segment. Kevin, I'm lubed up. Let's, let's go, go down the line. All right. Would you fuck that cryptid? Ooh. Sasquatch. Do I have a choice? I mean, you have a choice. I have a choice. Uh, then I mean, I'd still do it. I mean, obviously. We can run through all the scenarios if you want. Is is it a male or a female Sasquatch? Well, okay. Just kidding. Well, let's Doesn't start with matter. male. <laughs> just kidding doesn't matter <sighs> I mean yeah if I'm you know if I have a chance to like bang a mythical creature I'm probably gonna do it right yeah, you're just, yeah. what if it only wants oral <laughs> <laughs> alright I'm out too airy <laughs> you got it <laughs> Yeah, no. All right, F fair enough. Yeah, no. Fair enough. No, no, would just... you would you make a family with a Sasquatch? Like, yeah, would you sure. try to have a child? Settle down with like a Sas lady if, and Would you make her shave? Yeah, to no. No, just the coochie. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is fine. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, interesting. That's yeah. a that's a very interesting introspection into your mind. Yeah. yeah. Um this is this is good research for the RK Ultra podcast. Um, moving on, Mothman. Well, I mean, I think that would be beneficial to bang the Mothman. Why would I mean? Wouldn't you? I mean, that that's an interdimensional moth being really? that can like see your future. A mind expanding I orgasm. Mean, if that's what it wants to not make me die in some horrible bridge accident. <sighs> You I know. mean, I don't really want to, but like, if would it like, would it, would it like, if I start you up into the air and just like, do you think it'd fuck you in the air or Ooh, would it like, like ping like you down? <laughs> oh wow, I don't know. I mean, hopefully not. Would you be fucking it? I'm kind of afraid of heights, so hopefully not in the air. I I don't know. I just feel like if I'm con, if I start seeing the Mothman, it might be like a good move to seduce it. Really, you know, no, yeah. I, it's never been tried that I know. You're of. right. It, I, you know, that, that no is an <laughs> no underutilized one, tactic. Yeah, no one tried to kiss it, as far as I've heard. So fair enough, fair enough, you know. fair enough. All right, so he's into it. I like it. Um, I guess that moves us straight into our next one. Mongolian death worm. Mongolian death worm. Would I? Would I? Come on. Would I? Would I stick my erect penis inside of a Mongolian death worm? Is is that the question you're asking me? 
I'm 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 asking, would you fuck that cryptid? Um, uh, maybe, but I'd, I'd use a condom on that one because they're pretty poisonous. Uh, maybe some like electric, you know, some rubber gloves because they're yeah. off it also. Or I like don't know. It's a, not, a Mythbusters uh, outfit with a, a, a dick fucking. Somehow this one sounds more dangerous than the Sasquatch. Yeah, okay. I'm. I'm surprised that you said yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that you, you haven't. You haven't. There. There hasn't been a node, ladies and gentlemen. So we're we're actually. Um, I don't know if we're doing good. Uh, <laughs> probably not. I'm not sure about that. Anyways, so. That's a yes to the Mongolian death harm. Uh, yeah, I mean, as long but as, you as have long to as wear I have a condom. condom. Yeah, and I, you know how I hate those. I know, I know. So yeah. that's that's actually that's a big leap. You're yeah. you're actually no. that's that's very human of you. <laughs> no one's ever said that before. But go on. <laughs> All right. Would you fuck a chupacabra? No. No. No, I'm not doing it. Okay. So hairless dog, no. So you're saying Sasquatch? Yes. I mean Mothman for the for the notoriety. Mothman, Mothman, you were almost enthusiastic. Uh, oh, I mean, I just you know, it, it, can it make me rich? I don't know. There's there's possibilities with the Mothman, you know. Like this is true. I think. Um, <laughs> the Mongolian death. For, you would have sex with the Mongolian. Uh, I don't know why I said yes to the worm, no to the dog, but I mean, <laughs> I just, yeah. my drinking days, who knows what I might have done, you know? It's, I, I guess you're right. Um, uh, you know, oh, I could have. And by out. being in the in the funny juices, it does things. Go, man. Uh. Um, these are the things that we're here to learn on the RT Ultra podcast. Uh, the interesting introspections into the mind of, you know. Your our local, subjects. Local crackpot. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to our next segment. Now that we all know how I would treat a cryptid sexually, what I was wondering more is how, how RJ, how would you uh, cook, prepare a cryptid? You know, well, like, I'm, I'm actually glad you, uh, you asked me this. Um, this is going to be a good introspection into my mind because I love food. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm insatiable towards it. So this is this is going to be an interesting time. I I've right seen ahead. you eat many nacho eating contests. I know this is true. <laughs> so how would you cook and prepare a Sasquatch? Well, first I'd find one at a gay nightclub, and I'd ask him to come to my apartment for some gay sex. Wait, wait, a, a Sasquatch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry. And then I drug him at my apartment. Okay, Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so you've drugged the Sasquatch. Yeah. Okay. Then then I skin him, and I I roast him up. You just roast him up like that. What, what kind of seasoning would you use? Uh, Montreal. Montreal. Oh, Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah. yeah. What do you think the Sasquatch would taste like? I I'd hope like human. Like you, you'd hope, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> I think like human. human, human or some sort of ape, yeah. Yeah. What would you pair with it? What wine do you think would go good? With well, like a nice Chianti. Chianti. Yeah. yeah. I think I think I'd enjoy a nice glass of rosé. Yeah. Sasquatch. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That, that might go well. What kind of vegetable pairing you think? Um. Fava beans? Fava beans? Yeah. Gotcha. So you're on the Hannibal Lecter diet. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? Moving on. Uh, Mothman. Ah, Mothman. Okay, so I have no choice. I have to cook and eat a Mothman. You have to cook and eat a Mothman. <laughs> Let's see here. First, I'd net him, and I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd strangle him out, <laughs> and then... uh. I'd proceed by taking off his his wings and mounting them on my wall. Of course. I would then start by dismembering him, and then I'd probably cook a nice roast out of him. Which part of the Mothman do you think is the most tender? Um, well, I'd, I'd probably the cheek. The 
cheek, yeah. Yeah, you know, the cheek. Of course. The mop cheek. The ass cheek. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Duh. What, what do you think uh, it tastes like? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd like human, I'd hope. I mean, <laughs> I mean. Uh, I, I mean, think it I tastes think. like moth. Really? A uh, moth, man. Uh, I just, I don't know. It's curious. Yeah. Well. All right, moving on. Uh, Mongolian death worm. Okay. I'm forced to eat a Mongolian death worm. Yeah, you're in the desert oh, and sorry. you're starving. There's nothing around but a bunch of Mongolian death worms. How would you uh, catch, cook, and prepare it? All right. I would uh, I would start by finding the weakest of our species and lead them into the desert and use them as bait <laughs> for the Mongolian death worm. And I'd, I'd hope they wouldn't die, wait, I'd, wait. but I'd pay them handsomely. Uh, no. You could just eat the human. No. Ew. What the <laughs> fuck? All right. Switching positions on that all of a sudden. All right. How would you prepare? What do you mean? Oh, God. Dis- uh. Anyways, I'm leading my small party into the desert for this Mongolian death worm. I have them. They are forward. They are used as bait. If they die, I'm sorry. This is why I hired you. This is why I hired them. Um... They catch the death worm for me because I'm not touching that shit. Um, and then and then I have them cook it, and I have them test it to see if it's poison. Maybe some die. I make them find the part that's edible, and then I take a bite of it. Oh, you have sacrificed a lot of people for your own survival in this story. I like <laughs> it. Yeah, well, that's um, I had to eat the Mongolian death worm. So, okay, uh, what about chupacabra? Okay. Oh, chupacabra. That one might actually be pretty tasty, actually. You think? Yeah, I mean, why not? A sick, hairless dog with mange. Yeah, but you get past the hair, and then you get down to that nice, tender meat. You know, you just uh-huh. been running around, just sucking the blood. It's probably, you know, nice and irony. Diet of cattle. Mm. Yeah, exactly. You know, the finest cattle beef. I'm I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with a nice classic you know toast over the fire you know you just like a spit roast yeah you know I'd shoot him with an elephant gun and then <laughs> if there's anything left yeah <laughs> well I I would be blowing its head off you know because uh, yeah, cause, yeah crack shot got you exactly just get rid of that part um hopefully the cheek survives and then yeah I'd roast him over the fire and we I'd enjoy him with the with the nice local people. What kind of sauce do you think would go good for the chupacabra? Uh, something spicy. Yeah? Yeah, like... Sriracha? Yeah, like, like Diablo. <laughs> like Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, RJ. Our next segment is my interview with Dick Ridinger. You mind go getting him from the lobby? It would be my pleasure. Thank you. Welcome to the studio, Dick. Oh, I, damn. It's a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, it's coming together. Oh. All right, folks, we have a treat today. Today here we're here with Dick Reidinger. Let me make sure my gun's on safety. Uh, please do. All right, that's good. All right, good. So, uh, Dick, why don't you tell the uh, audience what, we, what you do? Well, Kevin... I am a private dick and a Sasquatch hunter extraordinaire. Interesting. Yeah, that's why we had you on today. So, let's talk about some of your Sasquatch encounters. Are you comfortable with talking about that? It brings back some painful memories, but I think Dick could do this. All right. What was the first encounter with with a Sasquatch? How old were you? You know, I was just a little dick. I was probably about 11 years old, and I was riding my bike down a trail in the wooded area near my house. Now, up in the distance, 
I saw a naked, hairless man waving his private parts. Well, I thought you said... Yes, it was a Sasquatch. Uh, wait, so it was a... I thought it was a man, but it was actually a Sasquatch. Really? Was, was it like extra hairy? No, it was hairless. <laughs> so, so it was a hairless Sasquatch waving its private parts at you? Yes, I'm... I've processed this information, and we believe that it was a a child. It was a child Sasquatch, and he was beginning puberty. So, uh, you uh, know, he was doing his any. Dick, you know. I, I, I hate to cut you off, but I, I gotta ask: uh, Are you, are you sure this wasn't like some neighborhood pervert? Maybe like a homeless man just waving his cock at you? No, that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm actually kind of offended that you would imply that that would happen to me. I'm just saying, well, what if it was some sort of homosexual that found you attractive? Uh, <gasps> Kevin, I will walk out of this interview. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Dick. We'll drop the subject. You, I, you yeah. So you're, I, I guess I can't. My di- Dick is inflamed with rage right now. I'm sorry. I, you know what? It's okay. Calm down, Dick. We'll... we'll I believe you. So All it was right. a Sasquatch. It was a yeah. You say they they probably just don't have any hair until they hit puberty. Yeah. Well, that's that's what I was talking about when I said I processed it through my information pipeline online. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, through research. Research. I see. What yes. kind of research? Plenty of internet sites with naked hairless Sasquatch on them, oh, waving okay. their dicks around. Okay. Uh, I've never seen these. You're going to have to send me some links. Uh, I've, I've got plenty. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> gotcha. So when, was you, when did you decide to become a Sasquatch hunter? Well, really, it stems from my curiosity with nature and all things that involve private dicking. I see. Uh what was your uh, second experience with a Sasquatch like? Oh, that time. It just brought back some some hidden memory. All right, well, I was partying at a club, and it was very dark. A nightclub? Y- yes, I-, I love to party and dance. Uh, um, I see, I see. Yes. Uh... And a large, hairy figure approached me and put something in my drink. Okay. Yeah, and I I woke up the next day in my bed, hair everywhere, scratches all down my chest. Explain that. So, did anyone else in the nightclub see this Sasquatch? I'm sure plenty of people saw this Sasquatch. He was huge. So you're saying a a Sasquatch drugged you and brought you back to your own apartment. I'm I'm saying that's what it's looking like. That's the evidence that has been presented before me. Uh, Are you sure you weren't drugged at a nightclub and just had homosexual sex? Kevin, I will... This is your second offense, Kevin. I'm just saying... You are on a thin wire, mister. Sounds pretty suspect. You are riding my dick. I, w- I would never. Are you riding my dick? No, no, I'd never do that to you, Ranger. Well, then continue the interview. Let's let's give the people the information they need. Uh, all right. Well, okay. So you say this Sasquatch left a bunch of hair and scratches all down your back. Uh, did you have any of the hair tested? Well. Of course I had the hair tested, but it it actually came back inconclusive because I believe that the Sasquatch, their hair is actually so close to the human genetic DNA code that it's almost indistinguishable. I, I see. So even if it tested and came back for human hair, that wouldn't convince you that you were just having drugged up homosexual sex with another man. All right, you lost Dick Ridinger. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It was fun, 
but it's time for me to go back to where I belong in the club. All right, folks, you heard it here first. That was Dick Ridinger, uh, Sasquatch hunter and uh, club enthusiast. Hey, RJ, come here. What's up? I pissed Dick off. He left. Better luck next time, I guess. Yeah, I guess. He'll be back. He always comes back. Well, that was fun. Sure was. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at RKUltraCast. Or find us at www.rkultra.com. Follow us because we'll be following you.